Falling in love with your own ideas. Don't be too greedy. They buy into themselves too much. Putting too much time into them before you seek feedback. They don't know how to talk about their product. <laughs> you have a great product and you have a great team and you don't know how to distill it. A lack of sort of deep synergy between the product and the market. You develop the product but you're not developing the brand narrative. Spending money on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, it feels like you can target very well nowadays, but I would be careful to make sure that the users that you're acquiring are actually sticking on and using your product and being very quality users down the road. Don't be too greedy. Absolutely. Okay. You can be aggressive, you can go for it, but don't be too greedy. I'm going to get 100% of the market share. That's totally okay. BS. What's up, guys? This is the Venture Summit West in Silicon Valley, California. options here. We have the Napoli blend, we have the Napoli blend, we have the Napoli blend, we have the Napoli blend. Cheers to you. And the whole theme for this conference is where innovation meets capital. So we got entrepreneurs and we got dreams, we have venture capitalists and we have money. And these two things are coming together to make dreams come true and to change our lives. So let's go check out the event. There's a lot of great pitches, there's a lot of great investors. Let's go see what's going on. You turn down by too many investors or whatever and you just give up. Even, you know, I uh, see that a lot. Not being focused on your customers, your clients. Somebody says something and you follow up and do a little bit of details like, hey, that just wasn't true, a deal killer. Don't spend money, uh, don't expend too fast. Are you able to manage client interactions in a way that provides you feedback to improve your product? Nowadays, it's very common to find growth in places that are false positives and are not really great users. <laughs> what people looking for as little as $50,000 to raise, and I've seen as high as $20 million. So there's a lot of different people that are looking for a lot of different types of capital, of partnerships. So one of my key takeaways here at the conference is keep your slides simple. I've seen some of the most complex slides. 20 startups in a room with some investors. There's investors sprinkled in the crowd, and then these startups are just pitching. They have three minutes per pitch. I'm all about helping businesses communicate with video. Combine the areas of discovery, sales and marketing, and screen sharing. Wow. <laughs> Not aligning the capital needs of the business with the reality of what the market can take. The key to growth is the tightest possible feedback loop. You can try anything, you can try everything, but you've got to get feedback on it as fast as possible. Be honest, uh, but competent. Hire the best people you can. Okay. I mean, it's people. that simple. And anything you can do to shorten the cycle between trying something and figuring out if it helped you or hurt you, and then responding to that feedback to prune the ideas that didn't help you and drive more effort into the ideas that did help you, that will leave you the tightest possible virtuous spiral. There's a lot of VCs here, a lot of angel investors, a lot of entrepreneurs pitching. And there's this man that has a blue balloon. We want to understand why. So I did present today, and there are a lot of presenters. Oftentimes you're looking for a presenter that you saw, but you can't really find them. And so this is like a homing beacon. Oh, so people wow. want to find me. The guy yeah. with the balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What are some indicators that we can focus on as entrepreneurs? Uh, Four-week retention, 30-day retention, engagement. If there's kind of like the holy grail of trying to sell them something, Try to start testing that early on as opposed to later. You can throw a fortune at acquiring customers who try your product, bounce off of it, and go away. And you've just set that money on fire. The key is making sure that what you have is going to work. The secret of success is to be persistent. In the long run, I think great people who are highly committed working on a mission with some passion can do just fantastic things. So you met someone that you're sort of a, a fan of. I am. Well, I Julie. met an investor who is on this podcast called The Pitch. Uh, the Pitch is a podcast by Gimlet Media. Basically, it's kind of like Shark Tank, the investors on that podcast, and I didn't know she was at this conference. She gave some great uh, insights. There's very little discipline around the burn. That's one of the biggest yeah. issues. They are not spending their money on the branding piece. I believe they're wasting a lot of their runway on stupid decisions that are rushed into. Uh, there should be a better process of decision making. One piece of advice you can give entrepreneurs, and he says don't come to events like this. I mean, I just got done sitting through the, I just sat through two rounds of the seed stage. There was 20 companies in each round. I got three minutes. I couldn't come close to enough information to, to invest that. He said you can waste a lot of money networking and going to these conferences and just having your backpack and sitting down and watch people speak, but should you really be you know, heads down building your product? Should you be out there selling? So of course you take that with a grain of salt, but it's true, there are a lot of places to waste your money. And I think that if you can really focus on networking 
and building your product and making your customers happy, I think that's the best bet. All right, that's it. That's it. We got, we're out here. There you go. It's another conference. This <laughs> another is another day, another conference. Another day, another conference. <laughs>